do you have any insight into why um, that that is? How many more people, how many more black people have to die till LAPD listens to us? Black Lives Matter, the hashtag, like we were just out there like organizing folks. We did not have money. Can you talk a bit about how and who decided the property meets the stated mission of the foundation? We looked at commercial buildings, we looked at, you know, homes, and then we found this really amazing space that's a sweet spot between commercial and residential that has office spaces, that has parking, that has, yes, a home on the property, but also has a sound stage where you could do podcasts and you could do uh, live events in the backyard. Did you ever receive a salary from the foundation when you were involved either in the early days or uh, before you left? No, I never received a salary from the organization, um, but I did receive consulting dollars from the organization in the early days. Uh, and it was about $120,000 that I received. How do you respond to that? If people who think that because you're doing well, that somehow means that you aren't um, as credible a, a movement practitioner? I believe that black organizers who are fighting day in, day out on behalf of black lives uh, deserve to receive salaries, deserve to receive benefits. Um, in fact, for most of my organizing life, I was not an organizer that received a salary. Have you ever used money from BLM to pay for your home or the homes of your family members or any other funds that were donated to Black Lives Matter to essentially enrich yourself? No, I have never used Black Lives Matter donations to pay for any of the properties that I own in the past or own right now. You know, the idea that Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation received millions of dollars and then I hid those dollars in my bank account is absolutely false. Is there any truth to the reports that your family um, have, has been hired um, to work at the property that was purchased by Black Lives Matter? While my brother is the head of security and my mom and sister did work at the property, there are also dozens of other people who work in the organization um, that are black folks and are doing amazing work. It's not like I literally, you know, open up the bank accounts and was like, I'm bringing all my family and friends in. Folks had skill sets. It's been a really bizarre experience to know the truth and to have false and misinformation be spread about me, especially around my own personal resources that I've worked my ass off to attain. We should have understood that, oh yeah, you know, we're saying we're eradicating white supremacy and we're getting millions of dollars to do it. And of course we're gonna get attacked. What's your wish for whatever Black Lives Matter continues to be in the future? I have so many wishes for our larger movement. I have the wish for it to truly abolish the police and prison state. I have the wish for our movement leaders and people inside of our movement to be treated with care and dignity and love and respect. I have the wish that black families who've been impacted by police violence get everything they deserve. BLM is not a burden. Um, it's also not a blessing. <laughs> um, it's something else. It's a promise. It's a call to action. It's something that is a sacred duty.